Hey guys, Popflid plays here, back at it again with some more Galaxy Halloween event. And today we're gonna buy. You know what? Let's go here. Let's buy the. And you can see my massive warehouse. Well, it's not that massive, but whatever. Like, can I? Can I? Oh, I actually can build dreadnoughts. Wow, didn't even notice. Why is. <laughs> Why is the army getting the cheapest dreadnought? Why why would they do that? It's one of the best dreadnought. I uh, whatever. It's great. I love it. Uh can we even Huh, whatever. Anyways, um wait, what? Okay. Let's do this. We have limited event ships. Let's get the vampire XR4. Earth's fastest racer, converted to a light fighter by Vampire Aerospace. Low health, low firepower, all speed. That doesn't sound too good. Okay, whatever. So let's buy this. This will set you back. Vampire, let's see. 76,000 credits if you buy all the pumpkins, but you can really cut the cost down a ton if you just loot the pumpkins from aliens yourself, since that inflates the price on the cost menu uh, by a ton. So you can pretty much just ignore the pumpkins for pricing if you're not going to buy any, if you're just going to loot them all yourself, which is... A very wise idea, because I've gotten 177 pumpkins today, and that's several hundred thousand credits worth of pumpkins. So, let's buy the Vampire XR4. And it should be under V's Vance Nova. I'm not sure why Vengeance and Sentinel are disabled. So here we have the Vampire XR4. X-R4, whatever. Um... B1 to B3. Remember, this is part one, so all these ships might be going away in part two. I, I don't know. This kind of looks like the original Spectre model before the Spectre got remodeled. So the interior is pretty meh. You can't even really see it. It says Vampire and Blade on it, and some... Uh, I'm, I, I'm trying not to say something offensive. Wow, you can move backwards at 100 speed. Um, anyway, the acceleration is pretty good. Wow, okay, we are going fast. Wow. Okay, so the speed is pretty good. I've seen better, but maybe it's just because I have a coal wasp, so everything seems a bit slow to me. So, let's see. 296 maximum speed. You can drift and crank it up to 300. Yeah, you... you uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're a pro drifter, you can actually push uh, your ship... To go faster than its top speed in one direction. And the uh, higher acceleration of a ship you have with a slower turn rate too. Like, this is very good for dreadnoughts and carriers. A ship with a higher acceleration but a lower maximum speed and turn speed can actually... Well, not even maximum speed, but a ship with higher acceleration and a lower turn speed can actually uh, massively increase their speed by drifting. Like, I've pushed an emits to, like, 120 speed in one direction just by drifting. So, let's see. Uh, I'm done ranting. So, the stats on this thing. 296 speed. Pretty decent turn speed. You have 750 shields and 1,000 hull. I thought the hull was like 800 or something. I must have been wrong. Uh, so not too great of health, but not much is going to be hitting you so long as you keep your distance. If you stay at maximum speed. 
Gargle Hold is 10, so you're not going to be looting much of anything. Uh, I heard three shots, but I only saw two. That looks like two medium phasers. All right, all right, all right. That's two large phasers, I think. I want to say two mediums, but the Foxfires have three larges, and this kind of looks like their larges. So that might be two large lasers, and that's literally the entire armament on this ship. There are no turrets. This is nothing. It's just... Those might be mediums. I don't know. I can't tell. The ship is literally just speedy. That's it. Uh, I'd say it's good for distracting stuff, but it's very expensive. You gotta remember that. Like, even without the pumpkins, it's still kind of expensive. And it's also limited, so if you ever lose it, it better be during this event before it gets taken off sale. And it better be during part one, because in part two of this event, they might remove the part one ships. Making them even more limited than they already were. Oh, hey, there's a pumpkin up here. Is that, like, collidable? Yes, it is. So, uh, yeah, this has been the Vampire X-R4. Also known as Speedy Boy, although it will never be the fastest because the Coal Wasp is just way better in terms of speed. I kind of want to spawn a coal wasp right now, but there's too many aliens on the map. I'll only ever spawn a coal wasp basically near my base. And when there's no aliens on the map and I'm the only one in the server, because they can get one shot by some turrets. Most turrets actually can one shot a coal wasp. So yeah, and it's super rare. So yeah, this is it. You've seen the vampire... X-R4 for like, I don't know, 20,000 credits, maybe more, plus the cost of pumpkins. And I think it said like 15 pumpkins to make it. Let me check. Ship menu, build ship, limited, uh, 15 pumpkins. Did, did I say 15? I, I don't know. My I have the memory of a goldfish. Hmm. Collision box is pretty good on it. Well, yep, that's about it. That's it for the video. Not much else to say about it. It's a really good ship, I guess, for being speedy. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Pop Lead Plays. <laughs> I can't even wave. Whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Pop Lloyd Plays, signing out. <laughs> there we go. There's a little wave. See you in the next video.